Hello, you lovely lot. I'm uh, outside Bolton Stadium. I can't remember what it's called. Is it still called the Macron? I don't know. Uh, anyway, we're going to uh, a, a little toy fair today. Uh, so we thought we'd make a little vlog. Um, I realize I'm wearing pretty much the same outfit that I think I wore in my last toy fair uh, video. So sorry about that. I do have other clothes. Um, anyway, we'll take some clips and see how we go and see what we pick up. One of the things that I really like to do with these things is uh, look for the inappropriate, the um, not of its time item that always appears at any of these uh, shows, um, which I don't know why they still sell them. You know, surely with all the connotations and stuff regarding it, you'd want to get rid of it, but let's see, let's see what we see. A few moments later. One of the things I really love at these shows is trying to work out, finding old wrestling figures and going, I think this, and the DX on the back, I think this is Road Dog. But why has it got PD? I'm gonna clue. I think this is, I think this is, uh, this old Kenny Shamrock here. But yeah, this, this rock is sick actually. I think it's so weird, the face. I'm always tempted to start a He-Man thing and they've released a lot of the old ones. The, the ones that I really remember though, they had these like, these bits in the middle and you'd hit them and they'd spin round. And uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> so, I don't know if you can hit your here. I don't think you can. But his chest spins round to show different damage. Oh my god. I shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> I'm always tempted to pull the trigger on Back to the Future collection, but I mean, it's this. This is cool, right? But then you'd have to get this one. Look at that box. I think the posability of that. 
But then do you have to get a dock as well? The box is so cool. I think this is the one, isn't it? Or do you go for the white dock? Which I think is this one. The boxes on these are so good. I mean, that's a classic dock though, isn't it? temptation just for the price tag briefcase I think, I think I've got this at home I think I've got the full set but I remember, remember this one I don't think I've got this set at home but I remember collecting this <gasps> no been full, that would have been a tempter. So this is my problem with the uh, collecting turtle stuff, is they're always new variations. So these are the comic book stuff. And uh, you know, then you've got like the cartoony stuff. You've got different companies doing stuff. You've got the movie figures. It's just constant. Not, uh, not a Doctor Who guy, but it's always good to see the variety of figures you've got. Cassandra is literally, I think, a piece of skin. Uh, Cybermen. I think this, yeah, technically, it's a Victor Meldrew figure. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's my wife when I get home. My wife when I tell her how much I spent. All right, so that's us uh, finished. I've got a bag of stuff here. Got a bag of stuff on me back. Uh, just leaving Bolton Stadium. Uh, let's go back home and see what I bought. And uh, yeah, uh, let's do some cool transition. <laughs> Hello, it's a few months later. I've completely been behind on editing my videos. Uh, so we're actually going to another toy fair this weekend. So I thought I'd better pull my finger out and get this one edited and show you what I bought. Uh, so hopefully that's all okay. Uh, first off, we bought this uh, Giles from Buffy the Vampire Slayer figure. I've actually bought this as a present for my friend Phoebe. Uh, she's a massive Buffy fan and I just thought as a figure that looks really cool. Very yellow bubbling, but I think Phoebe will take this out and do things with it. That sounds ominous, I apologise. Uh, I also bought this, uh, I pulled the trigger on the Back to the Future figures. Uh, this Biff figure was just too cool. I think with this this way of displaying it, it's going to look awesome. So I want to kind of copy that. I did also go for the um, yellow suited uh, dock in the end. Um, I just thought Back to the Future Part 2 is probably my favourite of the Back to the Future films. And so I thought the look from that is best. Uh, also, it comes with uh, a money uh, briefcase, which has got all different money uh, currencies from the different uh, time periods the Doc goes to, which I thought was really cool. Stuff falling down in the background. Uh, we also bought this uh, Marty McFly. God, this is hard to do with one hand. Uh, there you go. Uh, again, Back to the Future Part 2. I just thought, again, it's the iconic one for me. The hoverboard, the stuff like that. Just a really cool figure. Uh, we're going to take these out of the box and get them displayed. Um, hopefully, at some point, we'll be able to do a bit of a tour of uh, my kind of toy area and show you the way we've got things displayed. I mean, buying a few bits to try and display things a bit better. If anyone's got any tips, feel free to let me know. Um, we also bought a bunch of uh, little loose figures. Uh, first off, I bought this Maui figure. Uh, my kid loves Maui uh, and Moana, so 
I thought uh, just a little figure I think I'm going to just put it on a shelf for him at the moment uh, we might even display it above our monitor where we display a lot of like the cool little bits that I find um, I also have a fascination with buying the weirdest item that I see at a show uh, so at times like we tend to go a bit different um, this time I thought this turtles figure was possibly the strangest item I saw today um, it's got his tongue sticking out for a reason that I can't work out. I've also got a winder on the side. I couldn't quite work out that. I'm going to do a bit of research into that at some point. Uh, but again, this is probably going to just go above my monitor where I'm going to store a bunch of the weird stuff that I buy. Um, I did also pick up a random wrestling figure. Uh, this guy, Hornswoggle, uh, I couldn't resist it when I saw it. Uh, it was £8. Um, I just think this guy is really toyetic as a character. Looks really cool. Again, it's probably going to be above the monitor rather than displaying anyway. Um, I'm also really addicted at the moment to buying Hasbro wrestling figures. I know this is a like a rocky road to go down. Um, we uh, we did cut a few little bits out of the video that included like seeing some boxed Hasbros as much as three hundred pound. Um, I've not gone that far yet uh maybe at some point at the moment we've been concentrating on getting the loose ones that we don't have uh honky tonk man yeah just an iconic figure really it's so such a like cool design um sid justice very boring compared to honky tonk man but as a as a wrestler was kind of like iconic uh, the Berserker, who I think, headwise again, so toyetic, but just shows the boring bodies that a lot of these wrestlers in the, in the early 2000s, well, not really in the early 2000s, in the 90s and late 80s had. Um, Million Dollar Man, who came with the Million Dollar Belt, which was a bit unique. You can see he's got the green knuckles that have been uh, from uh, the paint rubbing off. Um, the belt is damaged. Uh, but for a 10, I didn't think that was too bad. I'm rubbish at remembering the best prices for stuff like this. So sometimes I might pay over. Sometimes I might pay under the odds. I might get lucky. Uh, we also bought these two, uh, the Rockers. Again, like I think they ended up having much more iconic looks. But uh, for a tenner for these two, I thought this was a decent price. Uh, so yeah, picked up a bunch of Hasbro figures that we didn't have. These are all going to go in our case downstairs at some point. Uh, the final two things I picked up, uh, I've been on a bit of an Austin Powers kick lately. Uh, I know I did re-watch one of the films recently and I was a bit like, oh God. Um, but I kind of couldn't resist seeing these figures. Uh, first off, we've got this one, which is one I did actually own when I was younger. Um, uh, younger. I mean, I wasn't even that young. Uh, and this is Dr. Evil and Mini-Me. Whoops. We'll probably take this out of the box. I don't know. Uh, I just think really cool. Uh, it's got the little cart that they ride on. Um, mini me, really cool looking. Uh, the box is quite cool though. It's the mini mobile apparently. Uh, so we've got that. And then also, again, this is where you, you kind of uh, have to be a little bit PC. Fat man. <laughs> again, I just love the, the, the films when they came out. I probably probably wouldn't love them as much if I watched them today. But I just saw this and for some reason I just had to get it. So yeah, we're going to pop this uh, in a display somewhere. I did notice after I bought it that it did have a little sticker on the side to say uh, 4 99 I don't think I paid that. But you know, pretty pretty cool for what it is anyway uh let me know any feedback on this video we're going to be going to another toy fair this weekend so hopefully we'll get a video of that out a bit sooner uh it's good to know if you think there's too much talking not enough talking do you want to see more toys do you want to see more uh more more of me talking about rubbish uh do you want to see less of me looking for controversial toys uh let me know in the comments uh please drop a like and a subscribe and i will see you on the next hunt